Thank you for taking a look at QPlayer Premium, the software for theater sound effects. This is the screen that comes up when you try out the 30-day free trial after you download and install the program. And we'll take you through some of the sample features that are here. It does not apply to all the features of the program. There are several more. But this demonstrates the main ones that you might want to get started with. First, to select a cue, you click on that line. And you can hit the play button or the space bar, as you wish. And you will play the, play the song. It will automatically advance to the next, to the next cue. In this cue, we, we start off fading the sound from left to right. The right side is increasing, and then the left side comes down. Again, we will, and as it says there, it will stay there on that cue. It doesn't automatically advance if you don't want it to. That is a uh, feature of the edit screen. We'll move on to our, our looping chime where we have a s very short sound, but we've set it to loop constantly. Now we're going to change that volume, drop it down automatically. We'll reach a certain point that is set in that cue. It'll advance to the next cue. We can bring the volume back up again on, on demand, and it will play. And now we'll just stop it. This is just a short cue that demonstrates the function key ability. You can assign any one of the function keys to a sound and play it at any point in time. Even if I'm back up here, for example, and I play it, it'll play that song sound and then continue on to the to the next one. Crossfading can be done in several ways. Here's one of them: is to set the auto fade to go right before the at a certain number of seconds before the end of the song and then the song faded in automatically starts and cross we hear the cross fade now we can just fade that out here we have a delay cue following that you can just wait for a certain period of time and then fire off another another cue in this example we will start off with a song wait for a small moment add a short sound continue on now we're going to wait for the end of that cue 13 the end of it fire off another cue. A more recent feature is what we call timeline cues, where we start off and we can set where in the playing of this cue other cues start off. Here we go, and then three and a half seconds in, well another sound will go off, and then 6.8 seconds later, on, another sound will go. In other videos, we will explain the all the functions of the edit screen. I'll give you a quick peek here of all the features that you can see on there. And you can download the demonstration file, the free trial, and there is a help file that goes along and explains every button and field. Enjoy, and I hope you will become a Q player user. Thank you.